Hi, I'm Cecile Renaud from Tallahassee, Florida. This tape is all about setting up your team offense. This tape is on team offense. We hope we're going to take you through a, a variety of ideas to look at your team and selecting the right offense for your team. Look at your personnel and decide how many setters you want to use, who your best passers are, and really any of the offenses that you could use, a 5-1, a 4-2 offense, or a 6-2 offense. We're going to look at serve reception patterns, identifying probably the best passer on your team. We might receive with three, four, or five players out on the court and also our transition offense and our free ball offense and coverage. So we'll be able to go from defense to offense and uh, really hopefully identify the best players on your team, get them in the right position on the court so you can be successful. There are three, at least three different offenses, four, two, which means everybody, four people are attackers and the setters are opposite each other. The setter would be in the front row when we rotate around and then there's also a 6-2 offense that means all three people in the front row are hitters and our setter comes out of the back row and then a very popular offense is a 5-1 we identify one setter who does a good job with setting and the other five people are hitters when they're in the front row so real quickly what I want to try and do is just go through these and go through a serve reception pattern so let's get a 4-2 let me have two of you as setters let's have our two setters opposite each other right up here, one of you up here, one back there. Let's have less left side hitters. And then let's just put uh, two middles right there. Okay, now what we, what we want to try and work on is uh, every time this setter is in the front row, no matter where she rotates, she'll be our setter. So we would have the rest of you back up and we'd make a serve reception pattern somehow out of our team here. What we'll try and do is identify the best passer on our team because it's going to be most important that we have a good pass. So what I'll do is keep statistics on all of you at practice and I'll figure out over time who's our best passer, our second best passer, and what I'll try and do is put them into the middle of the court as much as I can so they receive a lot of balls. All right, so let's say we maybe just want to pass with three people. Usually our second setter is not going to be in there. Let's back you up and let's back you up. We'll say that maybe these three are our good passers. We can pass with three people. Let me go through their responsibilities real quick. We would have a setter, I'm sorry, the left side person passing would be going forward and backward. That's your responsibility. Your responsibility is forward and backward here. If we pass with three, your responsibility is forward and backward here. Okay? If we pass with four, what does that look like? Let's you back up and you come in. This is called really kind of a U formation. Now our responsibilities change a little bit. You have some short and you've got it over here too. Obviously you've got that back quarter of the court. You back her up on everything. You back that up on everything. And in the seams here, it depends on where the server is. Whoever's closest, if he's on that side, you would cut in front and you would go behind. Okay, as the server moves, so do the seams. What's one other way we can pass? We can also pass with five. Let's move you back in here, and let's move you up just a little bit. We can also pass with five. If you've got somebody down there that's serving from very deep, and they serve those high floater serves, and you really need to cover a lot of the court, we can do this too. The only thing we want to worry about on serve reception patterns is overlapping. And what that means is the time the ball's contacted on the serve, you have to be in your respective positions. Left front has to be over here. Middle front has to be on this side of her. Right front has to be on that side of middle. And you also have to worry about the person directly in back of you. So middle front and middle back have to worry about each other. Left front and left back have to worry about each other. They have to worry about each other. So there are certain responsibilities and overlapping schemes that we've got to make sure we're aware of. Let's say we want to take you back here. How far over can you come this way? Okay, you've got to make sure that she's on this side of it. How can, far can you go that way? 
Okay, and how far up can you go? Because middle front's way up here, you can come all the way up. So everybody needs to know all of their responsibilities. So let's go back. Let's say we pass with five. We're going to pass with five, and we'll just throw an easy ball over here, and we'll have our one, this is a, we're playing a 4-2 offense. Our setter will set the ball, okay, and then we'll go into coverage. All right, here we go. Okay, we cover. Hold on just a second. All right, the setter always follows along the net right here. You were up in the W and you come in. So when the blockers are over here, we'll have a, we'll have a nice coverage. You're going to alternate. You're going to be outside. You're going to be outside. Okay, this is passing with five and covering. Okay, what kind of offense are we playing? A 4-2, right? Our setter's in the front row. All right, let's come back. Now let's change our reception pattern. Now let's go with four. Let's go with four. Okay, we'll move you back. We're in a W. All right, actually I'd probably want to move you up and let you hit and that's, let's, you swing around. Are you our left side hitter? Okay, I'd rather have you out there ready to hit. All right, here we go. Call the ball. Good, nice job. Who covers over here for her? The setter drops down, she's right here. You're going to scoot over a little bit. You're going to come inside. You split the court in case they block it back here deep, and you drop off the net even more. So you've got that whole side of the court, and you've got this half of the court. OK? All right, nice job. Let's go back again. Now let's pass with three. <clears throat> OK, sometimes we pull both of these people up. Let's pull you back this time. Let's get you over and move you this way. So you've got to make sure you stay in between these two now. Because my left side hitter is usually a good passer, I'll probably want her passing. You pass, you pass. And where are you? Are you in the middle? So you're probably going to come around inside. I can either have the setter stay in the middle or I can switch her to the right side. That's kind of called an international 4-2. Let's have her stay in the middle right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, she's going to stay in the middle, and then we're going to transition and go back to our defensive position. Okay, let's rotate real quickly. Okay, our setter's now over here. Again, we can switch her to the middle once the ball's in play, or we can leave her on the right side. Let's leave her on the right side now because we've got our good middle up here, another setter. So let's go back and pass. Let's have our outside player pass. Let's have you step out. Again, we've decided that maybe you, we don't want you to pass. We'd rather you rest up. A lot of times it's our other middle. Are you the middle? Let's have you step out. Most middles don't like to pass in the back row. So you get yourself in the corner, and your responsibility is what? To call in or out. Make sure you're really loud and clear and get over there all the way in the corner. Don't be embarrassed. That's a very important position. Okay, off the net just a little bit so you're ready to come in and attack. We're still playing a 4-2. Our setter's in the front row. Okay, here we go. Good. Night. Perfect job on coverage. Everybody's right there. If we got it blocked, just a little bit. If we got it blocked, we'd play it out. Okay. Let's rotate again. Again, here's one of our setters. We're looking at a 4-2 offense. Now the other setter's in the front row. So if we're playing a 4-2, she's our new setter. Okay, she's our new setter. So let's back up and receive a serve. Let's pass with three. Pass with three. Let's move you guys over here. You pass with three. Okay, still keeping our middle out because she doesn't pass as well as everybody else. Now we've got our setter. How far over can you come this way? You're in left front. You're in left front. And what are you in? Middle front? Who's right front? Okay, so how far over can we come? All right, so let's make sure we're ready for that. Okay, here we go. Now, where's everybody going to hit from? All right, and you're going to go swing outside? All right, here we go. Good. Don't forget to come in and cover. String off the net and come in and cover. All right, let's rotate again. Let's rotate again. Still looking at a 4-2. Our setter's in the front row. Okay, let's have you stay back because our middle's back there. You're going to stay out here and hit. Okay, let's try it again. Cover. Okay, we need to dig that ball up if it goes in the net. All right, let's come back. One more time, we'll receive a serve. 
Okay? Good, nice job. All right. Let's rotate one more time. Now our setter's in right front. We're still playing a 4-2. Let's just leave her in right front. And so the middle can come in and hit, and outside you're going to go out there. Let's back up. Are you in the back row, middle? Okay, let's back you up. Let's get you over there and hit. Shift people around, making sure that we're not overlapping here. Are you right front? Who's middle front? Okay, she's over there, so you can step up a little closer to your area. Back up just a little bit so you're ready to come in. Okay, you're calling the ball in and out. All right, here we go. Good, nice job. Those, that we were setting a quick attack. Very nice. Okay, let's rotate one more time. And now we'll see that our setters, our original setters, back up here so we would continue through this same rotation. If we were playing a 6 2 offense, let me go through and explain that. We would have our two setters opposite, but when the setter in the front row is up here, she's going to be a hitter for us. Our setter is going to come out of the back row for a 6-2 offense. So let's back everybody up, and she's going to come out of the back row. Let's bring them back just a little bit. You come back. We're going to leave our middle up here. We're going to keep you back out of the way. So we'll have our three passers again, correct? All right. And who's, who is hitting? Left side hitter, a middle hitter, and we'll leave you over here on the right side. All right, let's get you inside here just a little bit. Seti, you're going to come outside and stay out of the way of the ball. Now, you can leave and switch as soon as he contacts the ball on the serve. Okay? How, tell me about the seams. Where's our server? Let's move our server back over. Who's responsible for what ball? If the ball comes in here, who goes in front and who goes behind if it's a seam? You're going to take short and you're going to take deep. Okay? If it comes in here, who's going to take it? You're going to go short because you're closer to him and you're going to go deep. You're not going to take anything. You're going to stay out of the way and call the ball in or out. And are you going to receive any serves? I hope not. Okay. All right, let's just try this and then don't forget to cover as we go through it. Okay, hold it just a second. You are going to cover way back there and you've got to come up here a long way. Okay, and as I'm getting ready to block, everybody's down, their arms up, and that's called coverage. Okay, good job. All right, let's go back. Okay, one more time. Cover. Nice job. All right, and then we would go back to transition. All right, let's rotate. Now our setter is right back here. We're playing a multiple offense, a 6-2, which means we've got three attackers. Let's bring you back here. She can either come out from behind her or what else would be easy to do? Let's bring those both up. They have to both go up so they're not. And let's get you back here. We don't really want our middle up there. We don't have her passing very much at all. All right. Where's our front row? Are you going to go hit outside? Where are you hitting? OK, you're going to hit where? Where are you hitting? Middle. Okay, let's have you go to the right side. Are you the middle? Yeah. Okay, then you'll come around to the right side and hit. So what we'll try and do is switch people into their defensive position as uh, quickly as possible on offense. Hopefully we get a good pass up here. Our right side can now back out where she normally plays. Our left side can play over there, and our middle will come in. Okay, let's try this. Cover. Whoa, back up. Now you stay deep. We need two people deep and three up here. Okay? See, our setter's here, so she's going to just fill in. Sometimes when the setter's here, you can forget that she's in the back row now. Okay, let's switch and go back. All right. Let's go ahead and rotate now, and our setter's in left back. We're still playing a 6-2 offense. We definitely want to move you up to the net now, and we want to make sure that... Uh, Usually the way we line this up is we have you following the middle. So the middle is always going to be in front of you when we do our rotations and I put my team line up together. I usually have, this is my number one middle next to my setter, opposite the number two middle. Another person next to my setter is the number one hitter uh, and then our number two hitter is opposite her. All right, let's try this. How far out can you come now? You're in left back and you have to worry about who? And your middle back, okay, let's move you over and let's have you go that way. Okay? All right, let's have you pass. 
All right, here we go. Okay, something good for them to swing at. Here we go. Good pass and something good to swing at. Let me just remind you, the goal of our offense is a good set, something they can swing hard at, and then what? A smart set, make sure we're smart, and the third thing is fancy. We don't want to get too fancy more than our team can handle, so let's make sure we can just get a good, accurate set somebody can take a swing at, not too tight to the net. All right, here we go. Good. All right. Nice job. Good coverage. Okay. Let's rotate one more time. Okay. This setter has now come up to the front row. Our other setter is in the back row. You now become a hitter because we're playing a 6-2. So let's back these people up. You're a passer. We'll go ahead and move you up. We'll scoot our passing around to make sure that we've got our best passer. Hopefully we can switch her around to get her close to the middle every time. All right, now let's make sure you're behind her feet, right? Let's back up just a little bit. So we don't, you come in this way a little bit more. How far can you go that way? I can't. What position are you in? I'm in the middle back. Okay, so you've got to stay on this side of her. And how far do you have to stay over? Right nope. In front, of me. in front of you, how far can you go? I can go up to these. Are you middle front? All right, and where are you going to hit from? Right side. Right side. All right, we'll keep you back here then. And you're hitting the left side? Okay, here we go. Good, nice job. Now, we can't really cover too much on a quick set because I don't know if she doesn't set her, she might set you high outside. So you've got to wait and see. We really should score every time we set a quick set. We should not be getting blocked on a quick set. So I'm not as scared about the coverage on that as I am with a nice high outside set where there's two big blockers. OK, let's try it again. Cover. All right. Good. Okay. Let's rotate again. All right. Here we go. 6-2 offense. Our setter is in the back row. Okay. And you're going to hit middle. All right. We're going to move you around over there. You're going to come to the right side. Okay. Let's hit. Good. Nice job. All right. If she hits out of the back row, do we cover anybody? If there's a big blocker up here, the people that are up here in the front need to be up here covering next to the net in case that blocker blocks it. All right, one more time. Setters in, middle back. Okay, nice job. All right, let's rotate again. Our setters in right front now. I'm sorry, left back. The other setter in our 6-2 offense is in right front. So we need to back up and make sure we have our passers. And you're going to hit from the right side here, so you stay up here out of the way. Still passing with three. Let's see where the server is. Who's taking short? Let me see your seams. OK, that, what does that mean? I take short. You're going to take short in front? All right, where are you going to take? Deep, and about you? All right. To me, it's whoever feels the most comfortable. If you think you can get to that short pass a little better than her because it might get to you sooner, you can do that. It, to me, it's up to your team to decide who wants to take those. If she's the better passer, I might have her cut in front. OK, just make sure you work it out before each one so we know what's happening. OK, here we go. Still looking at a 6-2 offense. Great job. All right, one more time. Setter, how far out can you come? Right, you're in left back, and you can come out to middle back, right? All right, here we go. Cover. OK, drop off the net outside. Yeah, we want you off the net and opposite. OK, all right, let's rotate again. OK, now our setter's in the front row again. So we've gone through a 6-2, one rotation. We've gone through a 4-2 in one rotation. Now let's go through what is a very popular offense, and that's a 5-1. So we'll identify her as the number one setter, and she will set no matter where she is, whether she's in the front row or the back row. OK? All right. So let's go ahead. We would normally start you probably here and right back, so let's rotate around. Or you can just switch setters. I don't care. That's better. OK? So we're going to try and start like this. When I set up my 5-1 offense, 
I will normally have my number one middle right here next to me, okay? And I'll have my number one outside next to me because whenever I'm in the front row, there's only two hitters and I want both of my best people up there with me, although I'm gonna become an attacker when I'm in the front row now too, okay? So let's have you come back and pass. You stay up and hit. And you're gonna hit from the left side over there right now. Passing with three, but the setter has to stay back behind her feet until the ball's contacted on the serve. Okay, so if you'll contact it, she'll know when she can leave. All right, here we go. Okay, if the setter has to come charging back here to set a ball, I identified her as my setter because I thought she was quick, she could get there and use her hands. If her running after the ball, what's the first goal of our offense and our setter? Something good to swing at. Is she going to give anybody anything good to swing at? No, she's just trying to save the ball. But am I going to let her yell for help? No, because she'll yell for help every time she gets tired. So she's going to run this way until you, who almost got hit with the ball, was it you or you? Would the ball go straight up? The ball went straight up in front of you. You can step in and set it high outside to somebody else. But you call the setter off. You say, I've got it. I'll take it. And you give us something good to swing at over here. Does that make sense? There's no need for me to absolutely have to touch the second ball if you can take it away from me and make it better. We want a good, hard swing at the ball. Okay? But I'm not going to let the setter yell for help. She's going to go until her teammate says, I can do a better job. Let me set it. All right, here we go. A 5-1 offense. Okay, what happened over here? How far do we go outside the line? No, we don't want to go outside the line. We want to just shuffle over to the sideline, and as soon as I get my foot there, let me see you shuffle over there, then I know the ball's going out, okay? You should have known the ball's, the ball's going out too. You guys help call the sideline. If it's close, I want you to go ahead and play it. Don't... Don't go back and forth, but that's okay. If you pass it from outside, that's okay. If they serve it out again, let's make sure we're ready to take that as a good point for our team. All right, here we go. Nice job. Good pass, good set, and good swing. Now, again, we're practicing with no blockers over here, but we'll add some blockers in just a little bit. Okay, let's rotate. Still playing a 5-1 offense. Okay, we'll move you up, let's move you back here, and let's move you back here, just a little bit. Okay, I'm probably going to take my best middle out, just because she doesn't practice a lot in the middle of passing. Where are you? Are you in between the front row people? Where are the front row people you're worried about? Are you front row? You're front row? Okay. And you're all right? Are you in between those two right there? Who's the back row? Raise your hands. Hi. All right, so you make sure you pay attention to that, and behind her feet. Okay. So let's get yourself turned around this way and just get ready to set. All right, here we go. Ready? Nice job. All right, then we'll switch. Okay, where's our server again? I want to make sure that in between every serve, I see you pointing out your responsibilities. Okay, server's over there. Let me see your seams. You've got short in front. Now look at each other and say something. Give her a little reassurance. You've got short. You say, I've got deep. We've got all this covered. All right. Ready? Here we go. All right. Good job. As we set up our offense, there are certain, the setter's going to decide certain signals to give our players. And let me go through and show you what these are. If the setter signals a one, all right, this is the set she's talking about right here. The set's just as high as that middle can reach. Go ahead while I'm talking. That's just about as high as she can reach. Off the net so we don't get in it. Make sure the setter gives them something good to swing at. That means we don't want to be in the net, setter. Keep them off the net. And just a little bit higher. Come in here. Hold a second. Let me see. I want to see how high you can reach. Come in here. And let me see how high you can reach. Way up there. Good. Let's show her how high you can reach. Good. All right. Let's go back. Make sure that you're following the ball in. As the ball goes by you, you follow it, and you're up in the air with your arm, okay, ready to hit. Here we go. One. Just a little bit late. 
and your arm swing is just a nice quick snap. Go ahead, keep going. Just yell one, one time, one. With authority and confidence, you're still just a little late. That's good, we're getting better. Okay, what's another set that we might call? Okay, a 31. What's your hand signal for that? Um, we do shoot. A 31 or a shoot. Whatever this team wants to decide those hand signals are, that's fine. She'll give that during our team serve reception, and this is the set that they're talking about. All right, go ahead. 31. It's nice and fast right along the top of the net. Hopefully, we're going to attack right in between those other two blockers. Nice job, make sure we're landing on two feet. Good, something good to swing at every time. Just a little bit late, fast, 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 fast. Be up in the air, still swing fast and land on those two feet. Land on two feet, good. This is a 31, let's see the signal for this again. Okay, a 31 or a shoot set. Okay, what's another set you have? Um, maybe 32. A 32 is what? A little bit of a loopier one. Okay, let's try a 32. 32. A 32. What's the signal for a 32? 32. Okay, we're real creative. 32. Okay, I don't know if I'm good enough to do that. But our team knows what that means. Okay, here we go. A 32. All right. Again, still in between the two blockers out there. All right. What's another set you might use? We do eights. Eights? What's the signal for an eight? An eight, and what is that? Um, where the middle starts in the middle and transitions. Okay, the so we're going to do an eight. This is going to actually be a right, this is going to be a slide, so we'll do that. Okay, they eight. approach behind the ball, they follow it, follow it, and then get up off of one eight. foot and take off. Push it out here just a little lower and a little eight. closer to the antenna. This ball is intended to Try and make the middle blocker chase her out there. So they're trying to beat me to get out there. All right, let's go ahead. Eight. Nice and low. The lower it is, the more effective it'll be. Good. That was excellent. Right out there by the antenna. All right. Those are good. Those are called wide slides. Do you do a tight slide? Anything right behind the setter? That's called a six. Okay, what's the signal? All right, we've got our own little signal. Let's do a one foot takeoff behind the setter. Oh, ouch. That's called a tight slide. That's tighter to the setter instead of the wide slide. Go ahead. These are all very difficult to do. You've got to make sure you have the right pass, the right timing. Just make sure it's a little further outside. OK, hold it just a second. If they're all right handed, you have to make sure you set to my right shoulder. See where it is? Right now, you're setting to their left shoulder. So make sure you get it to my right hand, unless you want me on top of you. All right, let's try it again. A little bit tighter. That's good. Nice job. OK. This set, again, it's not meant for the ball to come up and go straight down like some of the high outside sets. It's more just horizontal along the net. The middle comes in, or the right side, or whoever's attacking this ball. And they'll attack it whenever they can reach it. They decide when to jump up, and they see the hole and attack it. OK, let's try something else. What else do you have? Um, What's high outside? Fours. OK, fours. So let's have our outside hitters. Here we go. Same thing, a pass right outside. Middles don't go too far. Here we go. These are fours. These is a four. All right, we know high outside. We want it something good that they can swing at every single time. I'm looking for a setter that has good location that we know what we can do with it every single time. OK, here we go. Good, nice job. Nice job. All right, what's another set we've got? OK, let's do a shoot. Is that to the outside again? And what's that signal? Another shoot? What was the other one we had kind of like it was that? This, but it's like directed to the middle. The middle okay, middle. if I shoot at the middle, that's a 31. If I shoot out here, hopefully all of these are a secret to the defense over there, correct? All right, here we go. So the setter makes sure they don't get to see it. This is just a low antenna height. Hitters are going to have to start in a little bit earlier, swing outside a little more. I would start my approach outside a little more, up a little more, so you're coming in 
and intersecting the ball a little quicker. Okay, just about antenna height. This one should really push the middle to get out there quickly. Something good she can swing at. Don't forget your eye check. Good. Hopefully, we're trying to set our offense up that if we make some mistakes technically, a couple of times a game, we're probably be trying to be too fancy for our team. We don't want to try anything tactically that we can't do technically. All right, any other sets you've got? Um, they come in and hit a two. Someone okay, let's have somebody come in and hit a two. All kinds of varieties of sets along the net. I'd lower that a little bit, antenna height. Again, we want this to be kind of a surprise. We're going to try and lose the blockers as much as possible. Is this in the middle of the court? Um, it's in the middle of the court. Yeah, you already had one over there. That was something else, what I forgot what that was. Here we go. Two. Scoot in here. She's trying to lose her blocker out there and scoot in. OK, what other sets have we got? Um, what else do you, we did 31s. What do you have behind you? We could do a 31 with the outsides, but we've seen that already. What else do you have behind you? We have our right side hitters. All right, right side hitters. What do they run? Um, eight, nine, two. Okay, let's see our right side hitters do some things. Okay, what is she calling? What it, eight. An eight. Okay, let's see what an eight is. This might be something they call on the right side of the net. Something good she can swing at every single time. There we go. Push it out here just a little farther. Okay, hold on just a second. Right sides, I'd like to see you start in just a little more. That way, if she sets it straight up sometimes, accidentally, you're, it's going to be in front of your right shoulder. If she sets it out here, you're okay. All right, let's try it again. Good. Trying to hit, keep it in front of our right shoulder. Good. All right, what's another set we've got? Um, six. Uh, what's a six? Where they come in right behind me. Okay. It's like a back one, okay. What did you call that for the middles? Um, a six, but they come A six, one. okay. Let's do still a six. We're talking about naming the locations along the net, and all three hitters can come in and hit any of those. So the right side comes in and hits a quick set behind. They're going to be up in the air, okay. Good. Follow the ball in. As soon as you jump up there, swing. Jump, swing. You guys need to come in a little bit earlier, I think. Go, 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 go. All right, nice. Anything that she can't see is very difficult with the timing of the setter. OK, what else? What else is an offensive weapon? They come in sometimes and hit a two. While All right, down. they come in and hit a two. Let's try that. We kind of know what a two is. That's a high set in the middle. All right, jump and swing fast. That's a two. OK, what's another offensive weapon? Um, what's a 5-1 offense? Why are we running a 5-1 offense? Go backwards. Dump. Dump. You can dump yes. the ball. You're an attacker. <laughs> Don't forget to call yourself sometimes. All right, let's see what you can do as an attacker. Good. Pull the net down with your right hand. and Good. She's going to jump set. Go ahead and keep going. She's going to jump set, but she's also going to maybe try and dump the ball over left-handed. She's trying to catch the defense off guard. And what we'll do is we'll show some more offense here in just a minute. Have you done any with your right hand, left hand? OK, still trying to make sure that we can get a lot of different options for her. And what other kind of sets are we going to have here in just a minute? So our setter has to be an attacker. Who else can we set? Back row. Back row. Let's see some back row attacks. Here we go, back row attacks. Where are we? We have, what do we call them? A, B, and C. There's an A. Is that an A? That's an A. We've got B. Nice and low set. She's going to take off behind the attack line. <clears throat> I still would lower those a little more. Keep them nice and low. Hey. Keep in. Go on. Let's have our back row attackers are coming in quick. Go, 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 go. Brittany, just at the last second. Nice. Start in right now. Come on in. Come on in. Good. Don't make a commitment until that last second. Keep going. Hey. This is an A. We've got an A, still too high. I want it to be a surprise. I want you to really push her quickly. Here we go, last one right here with a B. One more ball, we really need, get that ball, we really need to lead her in here quickly. I want Brittany stretching it and she's gonna land in front of the attack line. Come on in Brittany, go, 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 go. Oh, sorry. Gotta make sure we're in front of the attack line. 
She, you just set her right in front of the attack line and you broad jump. Here we go. Still too high, even lower. Let's do one even lower. Nice and low, good. That's a way to stretch her out. All right, so what we've shown you is a variety of our offense, all the different places we can set along the net, from the left antenna to the right side antenna, everything we can do in the back row. We can set some off the net, and we can also use the setter as an attacker. Then we're going to come back and continue to show you some, some use of the multiple offense in our serve reception patterns. All right, as we try and identify players on our team, we're going to look for who's our left side hitter. Let me have a left side hitter. Come here, right here. This is somebody that I think is going to be a great passer. She's really one of our best passers. She can hit the high ball really well and score on it. She's usually a great defensive player. She's going to be in the game all the way around. She'll play well in the front row and the back row. So we look for her to pass, hit hard, uh, play great defense, and really usually one of our best all-around players. We've got a middle hitter. Who's our middle hitter? Come out here. This is somebody that's usually fairly tall or quick. She's got big hands, quick feet. She can anticipate well what's going on on the other side of the net. She hits a quick hit very well. She also can touch a lot of balls on the block. Not really known for passing. We just don't have our middles pass a lot unless it's a short serve over the net. Then she might pass and hit quickly. But really, somebody that can get their hands along the net and touch a lot of balls, either stuff them, direct them to our diggers. But that's what we look for in the middle. OK, we've got a right side hitter. Right side hitter, what we look for in somebody that plays on the right side is somebody that blocks very well because they usually are against the strong side attacker on the other side. So she's got big hands. She can block well. Also, she's an agile hitter. She can come around and hit from the middle or hit from the right side. The other skill she's got to have is she's got to be able to set the second ball if our setter takes the first hit. So if our setter digs the ball, then our right side becomes the next setter, and we'll have her work on her setting skills also. OK, another player that we've got out here that's in a different color is what we call a libero or libero. She is identified really as a defensive specialist. She cannot serve, although the rules may change with that. She just comes in freely for usually the middles. And she passes, gonna be, she's probably going to be the top passer on the team. We'll keep her in the back row only. She passes, and she also plays great defense. We will not use her to set a ball, and we will not use her for serving. So this is probably our best passer, but not our strongest hitter, because she's not able to spike a ball. She'll stay in the back row only and come in and out uh, pretty much unlimited times throughout the game. OK, so that's the kind of team we're looking for. We'll put them together. Let me explain again our 5-1 offense. As we start out, our setter, who I forgot to talk about, who's given me a look over there, the setter. This is what we're looking for in our setter, somebody that reminds the coach of everything they need to do. She's going to be quick. She can get to every ball, fast feet. She's going to be athletic. She's going to understand the game so she can be our team leader out on the court. Usually, she's the only one that could talk to the officials, probably a captain type material. Also, an excellent blocker, especially if we're playing a 5-1. She has to understand the strategy of the game, move our passers around to make sure we have the right people in the right position. She has to really work on the hitters, making them feel good. And she does that by giving them something good to swing at every time. So coaches will help her decide what to call, hopefully. And we'll work with her. But it's really a very important relationship between the coach and the setter to make the team run the best offense that they can. We want to be successful. And we'll base our offense on what's going on on the other side of that net with the defense. The other skill she's got to have is good vision of the court. Not only does she pay attention to what's happening over here, she also sees what's happening with the defense over there and tries to set the right people to score. She wants to try and get the attackers one-on-one -on -one as much as possible. So she's got to get to the ball, get there, make the right decision, try and make our hitter successful. And then if our hitter makes an error, the setter usually takes the blame for it, and that's OK. Because the, we know the setter has to have a strong personality that she can take that from her hitters. Anyway, very important role player right here. All right, so as we set up our offense, I'm going to put my 5-1 setter right back over here. I've got to have another setter ready to take her place at all times, so we need to really train at least two setters. 
Then my number one middle, the person that I think hits the slide the best, the one that does the one foot takeoff. Let me have her right here. Quickly, my number one hitter. This is my number one middle. I would call her M1. Opposite her is M2. Opposite my setter is going to be the right side, or we call her the opposite. Right next to my setter is going to be my O1, or my outside hitter. And then opposite her is the O2, right back there in the corner, opposite each other. So we've got uh, the setter in the right side, the middles, and the left sides are, uh, I think, all spread out. Again, we usually put the middle leading the setter, we call it. So as we rotate around, we'll push the middle up to the net in our serve reception, and you won't have to come out of the left back. What we're going to do next is receive the serve again. So let's go back and decide if we want to pass with three or four or five. Most of the time we'll leave that decision to the setter. So we've identified our best passers through practice. I now see we're making a free substitution with the libero who normally goes in for our middle. Again, probably one of our best passers. I may even want to arrange it so she's in the middle of the court. Right now we're going to receive a serve. We're going to go up and play defense, and then we're going to uh, cover, and I'm sorry, go back and cover, play defense, and then we're going to hit a ball in at you and let you work on your transition defense and offense, okay? After we hit, we cover, and then go to your base defense. All right, here we go. All right, go to defense, base, a basket. Base defense, okay. Now, I'm gonna hit a ball over here. I'm gonna be the spiker. Come over here and play defense. They're gonna play a perimeter defense right now. Is it perimeter? Then you back up. All right, and now you're going to run your offense out of this, okay? Here we go. Okay, cover, cover. Did you cover the hitter? Off the net, right there, all the way off, all the way off. We want you to divide that court in half. All right, let's go back and receive a serve. All right, here we go. Can you throw these in, please? Cover. Okay, go to defense. Defense, right here's the hitter. Throw it in. Let's switch it up to different places. Cover. Go to defense. All right, here's our middle. She's going to attack. Throw it in. Cover, hold it just a second. We're gonna check on coverage. Set her get in here. Or did you set the ball? You come all the way in and you stay back deep. Stay back deeper. We're gonna block it back deep. Okay, let's go back to defense again. We've got an attacker right there. Attacker on the outside, all the way on the outside. All right, she throws it in. Set her took it again. Cover, go to defense. Right back over here again, hit her. Quickly, let's throw it to somebody else. Good. Transition, cover, go to defense. Defense, base defense. Okay, back off, ready? Good. Cover, oh, we got a lot of room to cover. Let's get over here and cover her. All the way up, Brittany. Good, back, all right, cover, go to base defense. Keep your eye on the ball, setter. Come back up here. Hold on, come up here. How do you get back to defense? Keep your eye on this ball and get back there quickly. I mean sprint, okay? All right, here we go. Throw it in, we're spiking. Good, let's go again. Cover, back to defense, keep your eye on the ball. Here we go, play it. Okay, setter, you don't play those. All right, here we go, defense, right over here. Good. Good, good, good. All right, let's go back and receive a serve again. Setter still in right back. Let's do one more from here. Who do we have over there? What position are you? Your right side, but you're going to hit here first, your middle. All right, here we go. Still passing with three. Cover. Over there, defense. Good, nice job. Defense again. She's right here in the middle. Nice job. Cover. 
Defense again. Transition quickly. Here we go. All right. The setter takes the ball. Cover. Defense. One. As soon as you jump, swing. All right. Let's go back and receive a serve again, and let's rotate. The setter's now in middle back. Okay, so she's rotated here. Our libero stays in back here. All right, we've got our best passers. Where are you going to hit? Our setter's going to give a signal right now to everybody. Let's see your signals. Trying to keep them from this team. You show them. Okay. All right, show them. They need to know what's going on. So she's going to do this in between every serve. She's going to make sure that her offense knows what they're going to hit. Hopefully so the defense doesn't see it over here. All right, here we go. Ready? Uh, well, hey, I'd like to see. I want to make sure I see passers. Cover. Defense right here. Wait till they get there. All right, transition. Cover. Okay, no, defense right over there. Quickly, base defense. Good. Okay, back on transition on defense. You've got to move quickly, back and forth. Get back there quick, all the way back. When that ball goes to her, you've got to sprint up here, and what you're trying to do right now is just trying to get there at the same time as the ball. You've got to sprint up here, stop, make your eye check, get your balance, and then decide where to set. And that's very, that has very common with setters. They like to just go the speed of the ball. You've got to get there fast, watch it, get off the net fast. That's again why we need quickness out of our setter, lots of quick feet. What's another way that the opponents can get the ball over the net? A free ball. Let's say it's a free ball. So I'll give her, turn around here, I'll give her a free ball and we're going to run our free ball offense. What's that mean? Free ball means they're not spiking it over. They're just giving us a free ball. So we're going to back up into kind of a W reception right back there. Setter, you're going to come up because we don't want you taking the first play of the game. All right, then what happens? Now we have three hitters, okay? This is going to be our free ball offense. So come up on defense, all right? You don't know if she's going to spike it or not. Okay, our setter's trying to call her free ball play. So. Before the game starts, we're, they know what we're going to run on a free ball play. We might change it every once in a while, or we might keep the same play all the time, and then just choose the different hitters. So a free ball offense is a whole other thing. We've got all the plays called ahead of time, and they know what they're going to run. Or if our team's really good, they can start to audibleize and call it themselves. All right, here's our free ball. Cover. Good. Defense. Defense right here. She's spiking. Okay. Let's play that ball out of the net. Here we go. You ready? Covering right here. Covering. Cover. She's hitting. Here we go. That's what we're working on. That's why we're doing this. Ready? Cover. All the way up here. That's why we're working on this. We got coverage. Good. Good. Something good to swing at. Here we go. Same play. Right here. Covering. You got it, you got it. I got an A. Three. Stop covering. Right there again. You're up. Covering. Go, go, go. Okay, covering right here again. I'm right. All the way up, Brittany. All the way up. Here we go. Covering. Back out. Good. Covering this hitter. Go for the ball. Go for the ball. It's only going to get harder. Good. Something good to swing at. Where do you cover the back row attacker? Right here. Good coverage. Good cover. Cover. Good. So all of a sudden, we're doing coverage offense. We have to practice covering, and how are we going to get ourselves out of that mess? So we come over here. Let's have a plan for everything. You're going to cover. You're back here. Our coverage offense, we really need to work on that. No matter who gets the ball, where do you try and dig it up to? A person? A place? A thing? 
the middle of the court right here. If the setter can get there and get the second one, that's nice. But remember, we have our other right side, who's our opposite player, and she can take it. So when you cover, make sure you try and play it up high over here to the middle. That gives everybody time to back out and get ready to attack. All right, here we go. Coverage offense. Ready? Go, 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 go. Oh, you should see me block. I'm a lot better. Come up here closer, closer. You got it. Okay, something good to swing at. Was she calling for the ball? Yes. She was? I didn't hear her say a word. I give it to somebody that's back here screaming. You can't hit, you're a Libra. What about you? Okay, everybody back off and call the ball if you want to hit it. Let's cover right here. Cover. She's spiking. Good. Here we go. Let's cover. Same thing. Where are you trying to play the ball up to? High in the middle of the court. Here we go. Cover. Good. Who wants it? Who wants it? Cover. Good. Okay, let me see that offensive play again. This is your free ball offense? All right, let's get back here. You have to wait until we pass the ball to switch. Okay, don't try and switch before the ball. If we don't have a good pass, we don't have a free ball. Okay, so don't switch too early because then our, the defense over here sees it too quickly. All right, let's get on defense again. Quickly, back up setter. Good. Defense, right over here. I'm spiking. You're spiking right here. She's spiking. Good. Good. Nice job. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Right there. Very disciplined setter. Now, you've got to make sure that you're staying low and getting there and getting stopped and still not just going the speed of the ball going, okay, I'm just facing this way. Every time, you've got to get here and look like you're going to set that. All right? You back out of her way, okay? Unless you say, I've got it, but it's got to be a loud scream. Let's receive the serve again. Setters now on left back. This is a 5-1 offense. Here we go. Left front, ready? We're now switching again. The Libero's in for our other middle that's off. All right, the setter's calling the play right here. Okay, if our offensive timing, if we make a tactical error like that, twice in one game, our offense is too fancy. Either the setter didn't give her the signal, or you didn't, we're not, I'm not sure what the confusion was, okay? But make sure that everybody knows their play and everybody runs it, especially when we're trying to do fast things. If we can do it and not make mistakes, we're okay. Here we go. Cover. Good. Get the ball out of the way. Sorry. Here we go. Next ball. Let's receive a serve again. Setters in left back. We've got her pulled up to the net. She can come up this far because her middle's up here. All right. Here we go. Ball. Here we go. Good. Nice job. All right. Defense. Defense. Keep your eye on me, setter. Do never take your eye off me. Come here again. All the way up here. Get back there as fast as you can. Good. Cover. Good. Go out there and hit. Defense. There's your spiker. Play it. Play it. What is it? What is it? Good, nice job. Defense, defense. She's spiking right here. Spiking right there. Good. Cover. You're back. Cover. You're back. Cover again right here. You're back deep. You have that whole half of the court. Here we go. Cover. Good. Good. Okay, what have I noticed about our offense? We're always going high front and high back, and we very rarely have set the middle off of any kind of transition. We've run it really well off of serve reception, 
but we have to be more successful. We have to start using our middle if we're technically able to do that during the transition. When things get fast and furious, if you can set the middle, you're going to catch this defense doing the same thing you are. Okay? So let's not get caught on high and high and high. Let's try and run the middle if we can. Okay? Good. That's what I'm talking about, but it's blocked. All right, here we go. Let's go. Serve, receive again. And let's rotate. Setter, you're in left front now. Guys are playing well. All right, we've got our good passers back there. Where are you going to hit? Okay, you want her over there or you want to swing her this way? Um, I want her to go outside. All right, are you an outside or a middle? Let's try this. Let's stack it this way. You know what stacking it means? Come on over. All the way over. You stay out there. Are you in the back row? Okay, you stay there. Come on over, come on over, come on over. I want you over here because I want you to come and hit this way. So we're going to do this. Is this a stack left or a stack right? Stack left. Stack left, okay? That way you'll get to come out here and hit. You'll come and hit the middle, and then you'll end up on the right side. So there's all kinds of ways we can vary our serve reception. All right, here we go. Good. All right, defense right over here. Good. All right, now let's go defense again right here. Okay, and then I want you to just catch the ball. Just catch the ball. Let's throw it over here. Okay, hold it just a second. Now, where is our offense located? Hitters, raise your hands. You two are hitters. Our setter's right here. Where is a great place to set the back row right now? The person that's got the ball because we're going to have a blocker here, a blocker there, and a blocker over there. So if you set her a low back row, that's exactly what you want to do. That's the time you want to do it. Or if you want to bring this person around and out of the way, go that way. Go hit something over there and have her come and hit. That's when you set the back row. You stay out of the way, okay? You want to set the back row where nobody else is out there to hit. So you've got the blocker's attention over here with you three, and then you pop it out there where no blockers are, okay? You would never set a back row attack right behind a high set on a hitter here. Okay, so let's try and incorporate some back row intentionally. Run somebody somewhere else, and then let's use a back row. Especially when you're in the front row, we need you to attack the ball, and we need some back row options. Okay? All of you just need to be ready to attack every time. All right, here we go. Good, nice job. Good, okay. Now, you just set a back row attack right on top of this outside hitter. Not what we want to do. It's too confusing because she's back here. She thinks it's her ball. She thinks it's her ball, and it's a mess. That's trouble. There. Or if you want to set her, send this hitter out to that antenna, make her go hit a slide, and what that does is that attracts the defense. Keep running. Defense is watching her. Nobody remembers that she's here. Absolutely do not set a high ball to a back row attacker when there's somebody else here that thinks that's their ball too. Back row is attacking where we've cleared it out. So we've made a clear area, and they come in here and jam it. Okay? I would also probably put my libero in left back most of the time. So let's have you switch to defense and left back. And that way, our other hitter can come in here and attack behind a quick hitter. So if we have her going up quickly, then you can come and hit right behind it. But she's not confused because she's in there and she's out of the way, and you can hit. So I like that. The libero may be switching over here on defense. That way, we can use you behind the quick hitter. What was that? Cover, cover, cover. Where are you covering? Off the net, way off the net, Brittany. You're all the way back. You're all the way up. You're all the way up after you hit, right? All right, here we go. Okay, let's play defense. Defense, defense. She's spiking. All right. Perfect. That's exactly right. You took the quick hitter and you cleared out that space, and the back row just snuck in here to hit the ball. That's exactly what we're talking about trying to do. Okay? All right, let's rotate again. Setter, don't forget that you're an option still. We've got to work on you as an option. 
especially we're going to try and lead this up. Once they block our quick attacker, and as we've got them trying to think about then, then you're open, or somebody the outside's open, but once you're going to try and set your offense up to be successful in the middle first, anything quick is going to start making their middle pay attention to that. Then that should clear open the outside, that should clear open you. So if you can, and you can be successful at set in the middle, we want to do that early. Good pass. Cover. Cover, cover. Whoa, what a good. We're going to have to go for that ball because you know what? It's coming back. Back up. Who's, who's hitting? Good. Defense. Team defense. Back, back, back. Quick. Go. Nice job. All right. Okay. Back row has to always be ready for the ball, okay? Yeah. Now, what happens is the setter gets us lulled into the she never sets me attitude, and then all of a sudden she decides to. So every time we want all the back row attackers thinking, I want to hit, I want to hit, I want to hit. So when you get it, you're ready to pop it. The setter has a lot of people to keep happy. She's got the middle that jumps a lot that always wants the ball. All the time on transition, we're trying to get it to the middle. Back row, don't let her catch you back there, okay? You're calling for the ball, and she's trying to make you be successful. Good. Ready? Nice job. Defense against this spiker. Hurry. Keep your eye on the ball. Quickly. Don't forget to use yourself. There was no blocker right over here. Spike in right here. Spike in right there. Nice job. Free ball. Okay, make sure we keep it back there. What happens if it's nice and tight? Nice and tight with the setter right here. What do you want to try and do? Use my hands and flip it out here toward the sideline right off my hands. All right, are we in defense? 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 Ready? Good. Cover. Oh. Nice try, but we're there to practice. One more ball. Serve receive. Sorry. Serve receive. Here we go. All of our passers. Let, hold on just a second. Let me see the seams and the responsibility still. Where's our server? Where are our seams? Who has short in front and who has short behind? Okay. Tell your teammate. I really don't care. Make sure we've got it covered. Have you looked at the sidelines and the end line? All right. Here we go. Good, nice job. It's blocked. Good. Oh, way to go, Nat. Thank you, teammate. All right, I think we've had a good time to look at our serve reception offense. We've looked at a 4 2. We've looked at a 5 1 offense. We've looked at a 6 2. We've worked a lot on serve reception responsibilities, all the different plays that we can run, all the different set options including one of them is the setter, some of them are in the back row, uh, coverage offense, transition offense, free ball offense. So I think we've really covered a lot of things about offense, and I think you guys have done a great job. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the tape we just did on team offense. I think you'll see how important it is, and you'll be able to put your kids in the right position to be successful, get the right passer in the middle of the court for you most of the time, and then really try and get your setter to get the ball to the hitters, give them something good to swing at, and you should have a great offensive team.